when x is 2 up to a very big number, it is increasing to a value of 1. Our y is approaching to a value of almost 1 from the right or to the right or to the left. So that our function is approaching this line y is equal to 1. Okay. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, as our x becomes very, very large, it is approaching our line is equal to 1. Now, that situation, we can express it symbolically by writing the limit of this function as x approaches to positive infinity is equal to 1. Meaning, the limit of the function as our x approaches infinity is 1. So, in general, we use the notation limit of the function as x approaches to infinity is equal to L. No? Meaning, um, the value of our function approaches the limit L as our x increases without bounds, meaning x becomes large. So intuitively, we can define limit at infinity. We call this one limit at infinity. Let f be a function defined on some interval a to positive infinity, then the limit of the function as x approaches to infinity is equal to L, which means that the values of our function can be made arbitrarily close to L by requiring our x to be sufficiently large. Okay. So, another notation for the limit of the function as x approaches to infinity is equal to L is Fun our function is approaching L as X approaches infinity. <coughs> so again, the geometric representation of our first definition, def definition of limit at fin infinity would be as our X increases without bounds, the limit of the function is approaching y is equal to L. So this one, as x approaches to infinity, more approach it to a certain number L. This one will fluctuate within our L, but as x approaches to infinity, cannot siya ma-almost. Ang iyang uh, sinusidal effect would die hard, would die later going to our, approaching our line y is equal to L. Okay. <clears throat> now, <laughs> going back to this, to our first um, example, notice also that as our x approaches to negative infinity, meaning our x is becoming very, very large negative, it is also approaching the line y is equal to 1. So we can say the limit of our function as x approaches to negative infinity is equal to 1. So we can define it intuitively by this. Let f be a function defined on some interval from negative infinity to a then the limit of the function as x approaches to negative infinity is equal to L, which means that our function can be made almost equal to L when we make our x approaches to negative infinity. <clears throat> so <laughs> notice that um, in our figure 3, the line y is equal to L, no? 
this one no? as our um what do you call it x approaches to negative infinity it is approaching our limit y is equal to l as our x increases without bounds to negative infinity it is approaching the line y is equal to l so kinsa bagid nang si y is equal to l that is the line y is equal to l that is what we call the horizontal asymptote of the curve y is equal to f of x if either the limit of our f of x as x approaches to positive infinity is equal to l or as it approaches to negative infinity it is l so l uh, y is equal to l there is what we call the horizontal asymptote Now, in our first example, no, that one, our L here, which is equal to 1, is what we call the horizontal asymptote because the limit, uh, the limit of the function as x approaches to positive or negative infinity is approaching 1. So another example is a function having two horizontal asymptotes. Example of that is the what we call the inverse tangent function of x. <coughs> so as we know, the limit of the inverse tangent of x as x approaches to negative infinity is negative pi over 2. And as it approaches to positive infinity, it is pi over 2. So this is the graph of our inverse tangent function. As our x increases to positive infinity, it is approaching the line y is equal to pi over 2. As it approaches negative infinity, it is approaching the line y is equal to pi, negative pi over 2. So, there's two red lines, y is equal to pi over 2 and negative pi over 2, are the two horizontal asymptotes of our inverse tangent x. Okay. <clears throat> Let us discuss the infinite limits, limits at infinity, and asymptote of the given graph of f. So, infinite limits. The limit is infinity. So, where is it? As x approach up, uh, at x is equal to negative 1, no? we have the limit, uh, infinite limits there. No? So, the limit of the function as x approaches to negative 1 is positive infinity. As x approaches to 2, from the left is negative infinity. Two from the right is positive infinity. So that is what we call the infinite limits. Therefore, from here, di ba may nuntang basta gay infinity ang atong uh, answer sa limit. Kanang approaching sa atong x is our vertical asymptotes. Therefore, our two vertical asymptotes are x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to 2. This one here. Next, limits at infinity, meaning atong, uh, what do you call it, x is approaching infinity number. So as you can see, as our x approaches positive infinity, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, the limit of the function as x approaches to positive infinity is equal to 4. And as it approaches to negative infinity, it is equal to 2. Therefore, we can say that 2, y is equal to 2 and 4 are our two horizontal asymptotes. 
Nakasabot, class? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. <coughs> now, <coughs> find the limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity. Now, we know that 1 or any number divided by a very small number will give, uh, uh, any number divided by a very large number will give you a very small number. Any number divided by a very small number will give you a very large number. Opposite sila. So, let us find the limit of 1 over x as x approaches to positive infinity and negative infinity. So, since we know that 1 over x as x approaches to positive infinity or negative infinity is a very small number almost equal to 0. So this one is equal to 0. Example, Ani, no? Our hyperbolic function, y is equal to 1 over x, this one. As our x approaches to positive infinity, it is approaching the line y is equal to 0. Negative infinity, it is approaching the line y is equal to 0. Therefore, we can say that the limit of 1 over x, as x approaches to, zero, uh, to infinity, is equal to 0. As well as, as it approaches to negative infinity, it is equal to 0. So we can say that the x-axis or the line y is equal to 0 is our horizontal asymptote. Nakasabot class? Yes, <clears throat> Now let us define here. If r is greater than 0, is a rational number, then the limit of 1 over x raised to r as x approaches to infinity is equal to 0. If r is greater than 0 is a rational number such that x raised to r is defined for all x, then the limit of this as x approaches to negative infinity is also equal to 0. Because we know that 1 over a very large number is uh, a very small number, almost negligible, so almost 0. <clears throat> okay. Limits of power functions at infinity. <clears throat> okay, what is that? If there is a p, number which is a positive real number, positive real number, and k is any real number except zero, then the limit of k over x raised to p as x approaches to positive or negative infinity is equal to zero. Actually, this one is just like that one. And the limit of k x raised to p as x approaches to positive or negative infinity is equal to positive or negative infinity. Meaning x, let's say x squared, but ako on gaya ni mo, as x approaches to infinity, of course, tako ginpot nga number i mong makuha. Okay? So here, class, So here, class, the positive or negative sign of our infinity depends upon k, if it is positive or negative infinity, and our p, if it is odd or even, especially when this one is negative. <coughs> okay? Example, 
so this one okay. save so said the mm, go work so let us answer this so the limit of this as x approaches to infinity so mm -hmm. Kukulani siya, the limit of this as x approaches to positive infinity. Remember class, as we say, no, from here, the limit of kxp as x approaches to positive or negative infinity is equal to positive or negative infinity. And also, limit of k over xp as x approaches to positive or negative infinity is equal to zero. Now, <clears throat> dagan kay ni, may yun tag na negative, ah, positive infinity, minus negative infinity, delete to siya, no? What we do is, we transform this one into another, There's this is not the only solution, no? So, we transform this one into another equivalent equation by factoring out our 2x cubed. So, first, para kinilang atong ma-deal with, no? So, we factor out 2x cubed, the billing sa first term would be 1. Mabilin dere after factoring out this one, no, would be 1 over 2x. Because this times that 1, makancel si 2, makancel ang isa diha, x word. Minus, how do we take out the 2x cubed from 7x? It is equal to 7 over 2x squared because when we multiply this one with this, makancel si 2, makancel ang 2 here, mabilin ang 7x. Plus, 3 over 2x cubed. No? So we have taken out 2x cubed. So from 4 terms, we have made it into 1 term only because this one is taken as 1. So that... Applying our limit loss, it would be the product limit of 2x cubed as x approaches to infinity times the limit of this. And then, again, applying the limit loss here, limit of this times the limit of 1 minus the limit of this minus the limit of that plus limit of this. Okay? So, <clears throat> we know, no, we know class that the limit of 1, uh, no, we know class that the limit of 2x cubed as x approaches to infinity is either positive or negative infinity. Since this is positive infinity, no, since this is positive infinity and this is cubed, so this would be positive infinity. So the limit of this, limit of 1 is 1. The limit of 1 over 2x as x approaches to infinity is 0. This is 0. This is 0. So infinity times 1 is infinity. So this is infinity class. Okay. What will happen class if our x is approaching negative infinity? So that for this class, money on going on, it depends upon here, upon our k and upon our add or even banisha. Negative infinity, negative number raised to an add will give you a negative infinity. So positive times negative is negative infinity. Nakasabot class? Yes, ma'am.
Next. Limits of polynomial functions at infinity. What is that? If we are given here a polynomial function, a n is not equal to 0 and n is greater than 1, then the limit of the polynomial, this one, taas kayo siyang polynomial, as x approaches to positive and negative infinity, can be limited to the limit of the leading coefficient. As x approaches to positive or negative infinity, or which is equal to positive and negative infinity. Why is that so? Because, anyway, all the rest here, gamay siya compared sa atong leading coefficient. So, whatever the leading coefficient, wherever it goes, no, siya pa ingon, this one leads the other. So, if this is going to positive infinity, this one will also follow it. To negative infinity, this one is also follow it. No? Just like our example here, what is the limit of this as x approaches to uh, positive infinity? Notice, <coughs> no? upon applying the laws, kini one ramana, no? ma one ramana. So, it just boils down to getting the limit of the leading coefficient. Nakasabot ani class. Okay. So, kung tagaan galit tag taas na polynomial, if you want to evaluate the limit of that as x approaches to infinity, positive or negative, just look at the leading coefficient. I hope you know how to get the leading coefficient. Okay, example. <laughs> The limit of this polynomial as x approaches to negative infinity. So you can scratch that one. We just have to deal with the leading coefficient, uh, leading term. So the limit, this one is equal to the limit of x raised to 5 as x approaches to infinity. That is odd, negative. Therefore, this is negative infinity. This one. It is equal to this. So that is a uh, positive infinity, that is even, therefore that is positive infinity. Nakasabot class? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. How do we locate <coughs> our horizontal asymptote? Given this rational function, rational, numerator is polynomial, denominator is polynomial, and considering our leading coefficient, so numerator and denominator are not equal to zero, then this one, the limit of this as x approaches to Positive infinity or negative infinity can just be equal to the lead ratio of the leading term. No? Applying Anisha. Now, there are three possibilities, class, in locating our uh, horizontal asymptotes. First, <clears throat> Let us look at the exponent of the numerator compared it to the exponent of the denominator. If the exponent of the numerator is less than the exponent of the denominator, then the limit of our function as x approaches to infinity is zero. Kung kini mas gamay kaysa ana. For example, x squared over x cubed. So, makancel man tong x squared, x cubed, may muna siyang 1 over x. So, as x approaches to infinity of 1 over x, it is approaching 0. Therefore, it is 0. Next. 
what if our exponents and numerator is equal to exponents and denominator? Then what will happen is the limit of the function as it as x approaches to infinity would just be equal to the leading coefficient. Okay, kung pareha ni Chagin Hani, pwede man na makancel. So, it's just equal to the leading coefficient. So, the line L is equal to AM over BN is the horizontal asymptote. The third one, what if M is greater than N? then each limit will be positive or negative infinity depending upon A, M, B, N, M, and N. So here, we don't have a horizontal asymptote of the function. Walay horizontal. There is a possibility atong horizontal, uh, atong, there is no horizontal asymptote. But there is a possibility that our uh, asymptote could be, uh, what you call it, be a curve, could be a diagonal line or whatever. It depends upon the problem. That's about class. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Example. Find the limit of this as x approaches to positive infinity. <coughs> so what we do, class, is we divide the numerator and the denominator by the highest exponent of the denominator. So highest exponent is x squared. So dividing it there. So 3x squared over x squared becomes 3 minus 1 over x minus 2 over x squared. This one also is 5 plus 4 over x plus 1 over x squared. Okay? So then we can get the limit, the numerator and the denominator. And uh, this one, applying the limit laws, tagsa tagsa na to. It becomes this one. You know that the limit of this is 0, 0, 0, 0, because 1 over x month. And the limit of a number of a constant as x approaches to any, to any number or infinity will always be that number. So the limit taas is 3. The limit of both is 5. So it is equal to 3 fifths. As x approaches to positive infinity, it is approaching 3 fifths or 0.6. Okay. Now, uh, another solution is the two atom second. If m is equal to n, then the limit of f of x as x approaches to infinity would just be equal to a m over bn okay. so exponents are the same and the leading coefficient so the limit of this is just equal to the uh, ratio of the leading coefficient okay. so then our horizontal asymptote as is equal to three fifths. It's about class. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Example four. <clears throat> Find the horizontal and vertical asymptotes of the graph of the function. This one. Now. As x approaches to positive infinity, so horizontal asymptotes are that. Okay? To positive infinity, remember that is square root. Square root, mura na siya absolute value of x na if na different ang iyahang definition for 
x approaching to positive or negative infinity. So here, if x is greater than 0, we know that square root of x squared is equal to the absolute value of x, which is equal to x when x is greater than 0 from the definition of our absolute value of x. Okay? So that, once again, pinakadako, we divide this one by x, dividing also the numerator by x. And then this one, ang x, kining x, it turned it into square root of x squared. So, mahimum rin siyang na-step na rin square root of x squared since pareho na sila o uh, radical, radical under the same radical with the same index. Pwede na siya ma-under one radical. Okay? So, that, this one becomes 2 plus 1 over x squared. This one is also 3 minus 5 over x. So taking the limits of numerator and denominator, you know, this is square root of the limit of 2 plus the limit of this is 0. The limit of this is 0. So that square root of 2 over 3. That is the horizontal asymptote. Okay. What about as x approaches to negative infinity? No? So negative infinity, as x approaches to negative infinity, we are evaluating x for less than zero. According to our absolute value of x, if x is less than zero, it is equal to negative x. Therefore, Katung ganiha, we divide the numerator and the denominator by the highest exponent. Katung initia, we divide it by x. Tapos, uh, this one is actually equal to that, so divide it by square root of x squared. So this one, lahi na to kwanan dari. So. When our x is divided by x for x less than 0, instead of x, it is equal to negative x squared. So that it is negative square root of 2x squared plus 1 over x squared. Or this one is equal to 2 plus 1 over x squared. So this is 0. Okay. So that... The limit, na, na naman na siya sign dia, oh, ipagawas na to yung sign. The limit of this is 0, 0, so it would be negative square root of 2 over 3. So that the line y is equal to negative square root of 2 over 3 is also our horizontal asymptote. So duha na. Next. Vertical asymptote. We get the vertical asymptote if there is a vertical asymptote if our function approaches to a certain number, the limit is infinity. Okay, so where can we get that? This is our function. We know that this one is undefined when our x is equal to 5 over 3. Okay. So this one is um, as x approaches to 5 over 3, no, it is approaching positive infinity from the right. No? As uh, the limit of this, as x approaches, 5 over 3 from the right, this is positive, this is positive, this is positive infinity. So, that is the answer here. If x is less than 5 third, meaning the limit of the function, as x approaches to negative infinity, negative, uh, to 
a six approaches to five over three from the left. So from the left, may more less than almost less than five minus five. So negative infinity na diameter. So now we are ready to graph. It says that as x approaches to positive infinity, it is approaching the line y is equal to square root of 3 over 2. As x approaches negative infinity, it is approaching our horizontal asymptote, negative square root of 2 over 3. As x approaches uh, 5 thirds from the right, it is approaching positive infinity. From the left, it is approaching negative infinity. Nakasabot, class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Take note also that the limit of E raised to X as X approaches to negative infinity. May moment siyang e raised to negative infinity or 1 over e raised to neg to positive infinity is just equal to 0. If this one is positive infinity, then this one is positive infinity. Okay, let us discuss this. Okay. So... <coughs> <clears throat> what is the limit of this as x approaches to a? Ang ang dere di ay actually class ka na siya class ka infinity na siya ang supposed to be na sayup na sayup po ano ko na ano. Okay. So unsa galit to? As it approaches to infinity, ang mahitabuan ni Look, this one is separate na siya, class ha. Uh, applying the limit loss, square root of this one minus this, may mo siya nga infinity minus infinity. Just like 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. We are avoiding this. Infinity minus infinity. Infinity plus infinity, okay. But infinity minus infinity, dili pwede. So, and also take note that the limit of this, we already know that. No? So what we do is we manipulate this one, express it into another form. So, naatay radical, so why not multiply it by its conjugate? So, when we multiply it, they have mag multiply po sa obos para ma one la nato. Multiply the half, which is equal to this times that would be x squared plus 1 minus x squared over this. So this one cancels. So this one is equal to 1 over square root of x squared plus 1 plus x. So this one, 1 over x, as x approaches to infinity, is equal to 0. Nakasabot, class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this one. R tan of 1 over x minus 2. <clears throat> okay, let us approach this one graphically. Okay? So, the limit R tan is actually equal to inverse tangent. So, you know that y is equal to 1 over x. The graph of that is this, no? Hyperbolic function. So, here, let this one be equal to t. So, let t be equal to 1 over x minus 2. So, the graph of this is equal to this. Okay? So, uh, this one, ang y ani is t. I have not changed it. This is supposed to be t. So as you can see, as our x approaches 2 from the right, our t is also approaching positive infinity. Okay. So let us simplify this by changing this one to this. So 
As you can see, as X approaches to 2 from the right, again, T is approaching positive infinity. So we let T be equal to 1 over X, therefore that is T. Our variable here is already T, so dili ni nato magamit. We have to change variables. So ingon siya, as X approaches to 2 from the right, our T is approaching infinity. So this one becomes t is approaching infinity from here. So, the limit of the inverse tangent of t as t approaches to infinity, sayo na ni siya evaluate graphically. So graphically, this is our graph of inverse tangent t. Notice that as our t is approaching positive infinity, it is approaching the line y is equal to pi over 2. So the answer here is pi over 2. Nakasabot class? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Lagi ko lagi ko mayroon. Yes. Next. <coughs> The limit of e raised to 1 over x as x approaches to 0 from the left. 0 from the left. <clears throat> Again, we say that e raised to x as x approaches to negative infinity, it is 0. So, Kini pwede man nila ito imano-mano class, pero let us uh, show it graphically. So, we let t be equal to 1 over x. So, ang yung graph, Anna, is that. Sorry. Instead of y class, this should be t. So, as x approaches to 0 from the left, this is 0, right? As x approaches 0 from the left, our t is approaching negative infinity. Therefore, this one becomes e raised to t. As x approaches to 0 from the left, our t is approaching negative infinity. So this one is changed into that. In sagetong giingon, limit of e raised to x as x approaches to negative infinity is 0. Graphically, this is y is equal to e raised to t. As t approaches to negative as x approaches to negative infinity, our y is approaching 0. So that is why it is 0 here. This is supposed to be t class. Sayo class. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> Next, the limit of sine x as x approaches positive infinity. You know that our sine x is a sinusoidal uh, graph, meaning ang iyang maximum point is negative 1, minimum point is negative, uh, posit maximum point is positive 1, minimum point is negative 1. So as our x approaches to negative, uh, to positive infinity, you know, as our x increases, notice that ang ato pong sign, sinusidal, ana ragid na siya, no? digid siya mo gamay. Ana ragid na siya. Infinitely. So, as you can see, as our x approaches infinity, our sign function fluctuates between the value 1 and negative 1. Therefore, the limit of our sign function, as x approaches to infinity, does not exist. Kasabot class? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Now, <clears throat> infinite limits at infinity. Na unsa na ni? Infinite limit at infinity. Meaning, ang, as x approaches to infinity, ang iyang limit is infinity. Infinite limits at infinity, no? So, 
Kung sa my notation, Anna, the limit of f of x as x approaches to infinity is infinity. Meaning, as x approaches infinity, our f of x also is approaching infinity. Example, no? Or there are com uh, combination of this. Limit of our function as x approaches to negative infinity, you know, combination could be positive or negative infinity. x approaches to infinity could be positive or negative infinity. Example is the limit of x cubed as x approaches to infinity. So we already have this one. Infinity cube is infinity. Graphically, x cube is like that. As x approaches to infinity, gadakwa tong x, our y also is increasing, so approaching infinity. If this one is negative infinity, obviously this is negative infinity. Okay, now discuss this. What is the limit of e raised to x as x approaches? Positive infinity. Okay? Di na to yan That is equal to infinity because e raised to infinity, ang e, gi raised pag ina tong dako kaya number, it is positive infinity. If this is negative, this is zero. No? Itong atong gi. Storyahan. This one. Okay. Next, limit of this as x approaches to infinity. <clears throat> this is polynomial. It is just like getting the leading term. So x squared as x approaches to infinity is infinity. Next, x squared plus x over 3 minus x. Okay. So untagali to. There are two ways. No? Katong atong shortcut or katong we divide it by the denominator. Uh, greatest uh, power in the denominator. So it would be x, x. So sa taas becomes x plus 1. It cancels. So both becomes 3 over x minus 1. So this is 0. This one is infinity minus 1, so both, is negative infinity. That is why wala shay, this one wala shay horizontal asymptote. Because the exponent of the numerator divided by the exponent of the denominator, the uh, numerator's exponent is greater than the exponent of the denominator. Therefore, wala siya horizontal asymptote. <coughs> okay, this one. <coughs> Limit of this. So what we do, class, is actually to expand this one, expand this, expand, and then multiply. So... Our concern here, class, is just the leading term. So, x, ang li okay, when you expand this one, x to the fourth minus 2x cubed and uh, so on. This one is x cubed, this one is x. So, when you multiply the leading terms here, x to the fourth times x cubed times x would be x raised to 8 plus that, 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 that times ne positive 2, no? when you multiply all of this. But we need only is the leading term. So that as x approaches to infinity, since this is even, this is also infinity. Nakasabot class? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you have your assignment. Deadline will be tomorrow night. The Thursday mag exam ta. Okay? Face to face ang exam class.
Ma'am, makuha na naman among like papers at tong for prelims. Mm. Tum- as a Thursday, ma'am. On oh, Thursday. Okay, After ma'am. After you pass you. your paper. Okay? Welcome. So, any other question, class? No more? I'm going to upload this one. <coughs> no more question? Not so far, ma'am. Okay, not so far. So, bye, class. Thank you, Mom. Welcome.